My love for the crow probably came when I was in third grade when my friend and I after school would go to this convenience store and uh, there would be a crow's wire almost at the exact same spot almost every other day or so and it felt to me like it was kind of a omen looking over me in some sense and it wasn't until like, years and years later when I started getting into spiritual work where I started doing these animal totems where I'd find out what kind of animal I'm really in tuned with and I was really really drawn to the raven and crow. And so with different cultures and stuff like that, I'd study different aspects of the crow. And uh, it wasn't until kind of years later, even in the Celtic traditions, that my name Brandon actually originates from the word Bran, which means the blessed one, and um, also means basically uh, crow or raven in those traditions. So I truly feel blessed that my name actually has a very significant part of the animal that I'm in tuned with. And you kind of think about it, you've got Brandon Lee, who portrayed a crow in a movie, and he has English descent, so I kind of find that as a kind of a symbolic um, meaning as well. Um, I was very grateful on July 30th of 2006 to have a visitation from a crow. Um, I woke up from a nap one afternoon and I looked out my window and there was an injured crow out there. And I basically took him in, I fed him, gave him water, petted him, nurtured him, and you know made him feel good. And then the next day I had called people who pick up injured animals. And I kid you not, Again, I was just being with the animal, and before, literally seconds before they arrived, the crow just slipped right through my uh, window seal, never to be seen again. So I truly find it was a blessing to have a visitation of the crow. From 1991 to 1995, I went to Carlmont High School. And out of those four years, I spent three of them in the academy program. And within two of those years, was spent with a teacher who helped transform who I am to this day. Looking back to my high school days, I can honestly say that one of my proudest moments was that I was taught by Luann Johnson, author of many books, but most notably, my posse don't do homework, which is made into a movie called Dangerous Minds. Here's someone who's redefined the word teacher and give it new light completely. I kind of feel like high school is a pretty rough time in one's life, and to have a teacher who can reach into your soul, take something out, show you it, add a little magic and light, put it back into your soul and watch it grow, is a very beautiful thing, and she had that gift. Miss Johnson's class was a class that I truly wanted to be a part of. You know, having been going through an awkward time in high school, she was one person that could actually figuratively put a mirror in your face and really show you the beauty within yourself and allow you to shoot for the stars and really encourage you to be the best you could possibly be, regardless of who you were. She was a teacher of integrity filled with passion and desire to see her students succeed. Luann Johnson truly is a unique human being and teacher, so I dedicate this video to show my appreciation for her as a mentor, a teacher, and a friend. It's an honor for me to be a student of life, um, to come up from under her wings, and just to this day, hear words of encouragement and positive affirmations from her. Thanks for encouraging me to rebel against the rules, to do my own thing, and create a bigger, better place for this earth by adding love to everything I do. With art, music, and celebration, there's always going to be a happy ending. So with all that being said, thank you so much for being a part of my life. And I'll never forget you, how you turn on a light switch that's always been on to this day. Thank you so much, Ms. Johnson. Now, At the age of 20, I went to school for hypnotherapy 
So the sole purpose to help people overcome things inside themselves, to take them to new levels of creativity, to break old habits or whatever. But I think also at such a young age, I don't know if I was really prepared at the time to assist others until I've kind of lived life myself. So at the same time, this teaching, uh, it brought me to new levels of creatively for myself, for with working with dreams and my old Celtic uh, shamanism. I would do is make my own personal audio tapes of hypnotherapy tapes to get me into a deeper, deeper relaxation and allow um, teachings from my books as um, meditations and I would use it for my dreams and all that kind of stuff. So it's been years since I've really tapped back into that level of um, personal guidance. So now I'm going to go back into it and study these things again and to reopen new channels within myself. And so I'm truly blessed to have gone through this course and opened up new channels within myself. And at this point, create that white light to protect on the wall and face of the door. This is kind of